multi-facts presence. True facts about olfactory hallucinations probably you never heard before. Phantasmia or olfactory hallucinations are a type of hallucination which involves the olfactory system. Patients who experience olfactory hallucinations think that they are smelling something when there is nothing in the environment producing the odor being experienced. They may be able to describe the smell in detail, and they can have reactions to the smell such as gagging at the smell of feces or increased saliva production at the smell of chocolate chip cookies. Phantasmia is most likely to occur in women between the ages of 15 and 30 years. The complaints of phantasmia include unpleasant odors most commonly including burnt, foul, rotten, sewage, metallic, or chemical. The disorder's first onset usually spontaneous, lasts only a few minutes. Its recurrences are then gradually increased from monthly then weekly and then daily over a period of six months to a year. The duration of the perceived odor also increases over same time often lasting most of a day after one year. One of the most common causes for these hallucinations is brain damage. The olfactory system is a physical sensory system just like the systems used to allow people to perceive touch and vision and damage to that system can interfere with its function. People with tumors or severe head injuries can start to smell phantom motors as a result of confused neurons along the sensory system's pathways. A longitudinal study on pregnant females found that 76% of pregnant females experience significant changes in gustation and olfaction perception. This was found to be caused and linked to their pregnancy. Phantasmia can also be a symptom of epilepsy caused by temporal lobe seizures which trigger the brain into thinking that a smell is present. Some people with migraines have also described hallucinations related to smell during the aura phase before a migraine sets in. Other causes of olfactory hallucinations include exposure to certain toxins, some types of drugs, and physical damage to the olfactory system such as an infection. Due to the rareness of the disorder there is no well-defined treatment. Sometimes the patients are just told to live with the disorder or the patients end up performing stereotypical methods that might help in reducing the severity of the odor. The most commonly used treatment method is the removal of the olfactory epithelium or the bulb by means of surgery to alleviate the patient from the symptoms. Other traditional methods include the use of topical anesthetics and use of sedatives. If you have any facts of your own about olfactory hallucinations, leave a comment below. Please subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. Find out more videos about mental health on this channel.